Yes, I actually did it. I made a video game. It's not very good though, so please lower your expectations. <laughs> As a kid, I always dreamed of making games. And when I took some classes on it later in life, I really didn't like coding for hours on end. It just wasn't something I could see myself doing. Well, it's 2021 and making a game is easier than ever. After debating on the engine I was going to use, I settled on Unity and YouTube tutorials became my friend. Shout out to this handsome, beautiful man. He walked me through making this game across 10 different videos. So this is it, Cube Guy. Yeah, I put about five seconds of thought into the name, but look, it's a thing I can play and I made it from scratch. The game is about getting to the goal gate without touching the gray obstacles. You can move left and right, and that's it. <laughs> the game is always pushing the cube forward, so you have to steer your way to victory. There's three levels in total, and then you beat the game. It took me about five hours to make the game itself. That was with all the coding and yada yada yada, and then another five to create the look and atmosphere for each of the levels. Then after a 20 minute Photoshop session, I had created my icon and I was ready to export. Next, I showed my friends the game. This is how I got some feedback and to see if it would even work on someone else's computer. Then one of my friends decided to try and break the game. You know where I is though, yeah? Yes, I do know it. Whoa, oh my God. Whoa. Okay, hold up. Yo, let's go redeem it. Okay. <laughs> he was using the physics to try and get around the goal gate. It was pretty interesting. Pretty unique. There we go. Oh, and after many attempts, he actually got around it, and it was the coolest thing ever. Nasty jumps. There we oh, go. Oh, let's go. So that's when I decided to play around with the physics engine a bit more. I decided to update my game. Feels weird to say that, but to be honest, it's pretty cool. I decided to increase the difficulty of level 3 since everyone thought it was easier than level 2, and I added some easter eggs past the gold gate on level 2 since I thought it was funny that you can even get past it. And then I added a test level. I have always been fascinated by test levels as I've seen them in different games like Wind Waker and Super Mario Sunshine, so I thought it'd be cool to make my own. So I tossed in a bunch of physics objects, slants, ramps, and just had some fun with it. The whole level was inspired by my friend who got past the goal gate. I had no idea physics could be this fun. So that was it. I had made a game, updated it, and I had so much fun. Personally, I think I can see myself making a real game someday. Like a game that people download on Steam and like actually enjoy. I know I have so much left to learn, but I'm super motivated. You also might be wondering, hey Linklate, can I play your game? The answer is no, but yes. Since I'm just a newbie and I don't want to release anything until I make something decent, I will just be releasing this game on my Patreon. I'm not asking you to pledge or anything like that, but my patrons have done so much for me over the years. I used to make literally nothing on YouTube because I was too edgy. So this is like a thank you to those people. Anyone at the $5 tier can play any of the crappy games I make until I'm ready for a full release. So if you're interested and want to support me and my future projects, link is in the description. My future plans for this game are pretty simple. As I learn more skills from making different kinds of games, I'll come back to Cube Guy and maybe add a level or two or different features to the game so it's more like a full game. And that way I'm implementing the new skills that I learned from different projects. You know, the funny thing was, I almost started my game making journey in Game Maker Studio. Since Rivals of Ether is made in it and so is Undertale. I wanted something with little to no coding required, but I think coding is really important, and as long as I don't overdo it, I feel confident I can learn and not burn out. So what was the point of this video? To be honest, 
I wanted to make it for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to document my progress as I learned to make games. Everyone has to start somewhere, and I started with a red cube. The second reason was to perhaps motivate someone out there to give this a shot themselves. I am 24 years old. I am literally an old man. And I'm sure most of you who watch me are probably a lot younger. I say start something cool like this while you're young. You learn much faster at a younger age, and you can get a head start instead of waiting till you're old like me. I know I sound like a lame dad or something, but I guess my point is, is that right now is the best time to start something new. And that will always be true. I started making YouTube videos when I was 16, and I really fell in love with it. Now, eight years later, I still make videos, and I don't regret a second of it. So yeah, that's my uh, little rant. I want to make more videos like this as I improve at making games, so subscribe if you want to see more as you uh, check out my progress. Also, please like the video if you enjoyed it since it helps a lot. This video might not do well since it's very different from the normal types of videos that I make, so any like or comment or anything is uh, appreciated. Okay, that's it from me. See you all soon with a mod review or maybe something else. I have a fun video on the pipeline about Wind Waker. Um, but yeah, I'll also be uploading my game making progress videos here as well. So, see you very soon. Bye bye.